I'm thinking of bunny. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my January favorites or also known in my channel, the January whoops or womps. Obviously a ton of us didn't do our December favorites just because we did a whole year round favorites. I did this in a three part series. So if you missed those videos, go check them out. Now I am in a different background and I feel like a lot of you are going to appreciate it. I personally just really like this feel right now. It feels more like let's hang out. Let's be chill, you know, girl time. I mean, not like I don't like the background because I think they look really nice and you're able to just concentrate on the product but low-key I was just missing like a cute little cozy background so let me know down below if you guys like this background as you can see I got this picture off of Etsy isn't it so cute that's what I wanted to hang up and it says Aloha on the side right there and I don't know I just love my Wobu Lizzie do little initials and my whole pineapples down there oh my gosh you guys know I love pineapples and I actually have a pineapple favorite this month you guys Valentine's Day is right around the corner and Starbucks came out with some Valentine's Day edition glasses like tumblers and mugs every single year it's like my favorite time to buy Starbucks mugs last year I ended up getting like every single one and this year I was like no this year I have to be good I'm not gonna buy anything unless it's like really super super cute so I saw this one right here and it's a silver tumbler and it has like all the hearts and I have my ice water in here and it comes with this straw obviously but I couldn't pass it up and then after I saw it, I was in line and I was like, no, Lizzie, you do not need this. So I went ahead and I just put it back and I just walked away and I was like, so then I ended up going to Target with my mom and she's the one, well, whenever we go to Target, it's so funny, she loves to just buy like two lemon loaves like for the week. So there's a Starbucks in the Target that we go into, so we always get that first. She never wants to do it last. I don't know why, because she always says, no, my lemon loaf's gonna like sell out. So we always get that first and she happened to spot this cup right here. She's like, oh my gosh, Lizzie, look, this is so you. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> you guys, it's like that serious. And I feel so happy with this bag. I'm sorry if I'm annoying some of you guys, but so, all I can say is, is it too late to say sorry? I honestly don't like that song. So then she ended up picking it up and showing me. I was like, oh my gosh, I was going to get it, but I told myself I don't need it. And she's like, oh, I'm getting it. That's it. That's your Valentine's Day gift. So my mom, you know, she got it for me and I was like so excited. Wow, that was like really long just for this, but look how cute it is. And um, Hydrate kids. Okay, so now let's go on to something else. Let's talk about makeup. So Becca ended up sending PR packages with different products and new things and all of that. I'm sure you probably noticed a ton of people talking about Becca lately, but one of the things that really stood out to me were their primers. Now I'm someone more oily in my T-zone, normal all around. So the things that really popped out of me were the primers and another product I'm gonna talk about. So this is a brand new primer and this one is like in a lilac shade and this one is called the Becca First Light Priming Filter. And then another one that's not new to the game, it's already been in their collection, is the Backlit Primer, which I know a bunch of people on here on YouTube love this, especially my bestie Laura, Mrs. Lola Lynn. So I definitely wanted to give it a try. The only thing is, is like I said, I'm oily in my t-zone normal all around and anything with illumination or something that's not really truly pore filling it, it scares me I mean I'm always down for a fresh glowy face because that's just the makeup look that I really tend to go for and I just love on everybody but I don't really kind of gear towards these primers oh my gosh these ones are actually really good and perfect for a very nice fresh face these two primers are completely different now I'll talk about this one first when you first pump this out it has like more of a illumination and glow and champagne shade to it I absolutely love the way it makes my face look this is the one I've been using a ton just because I do love that glowiness now what I'll do is I'll just put it all around my face but not hit my t-zone I do my normal foundation and that is it and just my whole face is just glowing I look angelic just like an angel <laughs> I'm kidding. And then with this primer, it's completely different. Now, when you swatch this one, it has a more dewy and wet feel, but still really nice and glowy. When you look at these side by side, you can totally see the difference. One has more of an illumination and shimmer almost, not a glitter, but an illumination of a champagne. And the other one just looks wet and dewy. So I have been enjoying both of these. I just started using this a little bit more just because I was so obsessed with this one. So I am currently wearing the primer, the backlit primer, all around my face today, except in my 
my T-zone. I haven't blot once. I did my makeup at 7.30 in the morning. Right now it is 3.20 and look, it doesn't make my face look greasy at all, just as long as I don't put it in my T-zone. Because if I put it in my T-zone, it's really like illuminated. And I start to look a little bit greasy after like three hours, I would say, just because it's like oils, illumination. It's just like... If you've been having like a hard night and you don't want someone to know the next day, I would probably just kind of sneak this in your makeup routine that day. Also with this one, um, you can mix it in with your foundation, which I haven't tried yet, but I know a ton of people do, and it gives like a nice glow to your foundation. Now the foundation I've been trying out and just been a loving, and it's been great for every day, and I said I was going to do a whoop or womp on it, but I decided, you know what, I'm not really going to because I honestly don't have any cons about it. I used this in my last Get Ready. Go check that video out. I just recently posted it. I'm in the shade number 40. This one is in true beige. This is great for every day. This is the only cushion foundation I absolutely love. There's some coverage to it. It comes with a sponge, but I don't use it. It really didn't do anything except just soak up all my product. So what I like to do is I just like to put my flat top kabuki in here, dip in, and then spread all around. It has like a really nice thin consistency, yet there is actual coverage. I've tried other cushion foundations. None of them have worked or even wowed me. This lasts a really long time. Like I said, I haven't blotted and I put my makeup on at 7.30. I get oily in my T-zone. I am a little bit oily right now just because I wanted to show you what my face truly looks like with like the wear of these products I'm going to be showing you, but it just feels super lightweight, perfect for every day and has medium coverage. If you're not really into cushion foundations, this might be an exception because I don't like any of them except this one. Okay, so next up is a palette. Now, again, I use it in that Get Ready, and I'm sure you're like, shut up about that damn Get Ready. But I ended up using the Marble Collection from BH, so I have been using this palette the past two weeks, and they do have a warm one, and they do have a cool one, because I love warm shades. I'm currently wearing it on my eyes today. Uh, this is the first time I do like a more smokier, deeper look with it. Just very simple. Have this on the lid, this and this in the crease, and this also to kind of smoke out. And that is it, but I use completely different colors in that Get Ready. And I think the quality is awesome. Like this one actually blew me away. I don't really care for like the really big palettes of BH. I like the, the smaller ones. I just find like the smaller palettes have more love in them for some reason and the quality is super good. So I don't know, I feel like they've stepped up their game and I absolutely love it. Now for a highlighter that I've absolutely been loving is what I'm wearing today. It is a number two from Makeup Forever. They use these in like a split duo before and it was a bronzer and um, the highlight. So they have two shades, but this is my favorite, number two. Actually, number one looks good as well, but I just love golden shades. I wanted to mention this one because I feel like it just melts into the skin, and if you've been looking for another gold highlighter, I mean, because you know all our gold highlighters just look different, right? And I find that this is probably like the number one dupe for um, the MAC one that everybody's after, Estee Lauder Heat Wave, like all of those limited edition golden shades. This is it right here, and it's a permanent freaking product. The bronze fusion bronzers, it's a gel to powder, and it's it's so good. I'm like, it's it's it blends immediately, it's not too harsh, and you can build it up where it just looks so beautiful and glowy and it doesn't sit on the skin weird. You can never have too many highlighters. Okay, so now back to our Becca product that I wanted to talk about. I forgot I wanted to talk about it, but they also came out with this new powder. This one is called the Soft Light Blurring Powder, and you just twist it off like that. Has a little sifter right there, but the thing is, whenever I get these, I'm not like really the biggest fan of opening them opening them up all the way. So I just open them halfway and then I'll cut this portion off. I just haven't done that yet just because it's so new and I've been using it like the past two weeks and I don't have scissors up here and Okay, I just made myself look lazy. But that's usually what I do just to control the powder so I don't open up all the little holes or else this stuff is gonna get all over the place. But at first when I got this product, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But then again, I wasn't really thinking it was gonna be that great because yeah, it says blurring powder. So I'm like, what's with all this magic stuff? Blurring powder, Urban Decay Optical Illusion. Like, I ain't no magician. I mean, makeup definitely can make us all look very different. So, so maybe it's fitting. Yeah, we're magicians. And it came with a brush. You don't need the brush, but the brush is very bomb. It is this one right here. It is very soft, and when you place it on your face, damn, this is soft. You don't need it though, you can just use a fluffy brush, but if you're someone that you're just like, oh, I kind of want to invest in like a nice soft, you know, light dusting brush or just to do a soft set all over the face and 
This is very, very soft. So I went ahead and dipped my brush, placed it all over. Oh my gosh, I have a clip where I'm gonna show you of me using it. You'll see, like I'll dip just a little bit of product, I'll place it over my face. It looks so soft. You can totally see the difference on one side of my face as opposed to the other. This is like magic dust, I'm telling you. We are magicians. Abracadabra. This one is a filter powder, so get you a sample of this and try it out and you can be like, whoa, like, Whoa. Okay, so now on to my two wombs. Those are all my favorite. Oh wait, I forgot my pineapple favorite. I actually have two and I wanted to show you this one. Okay, so the first one is from Bath and Body Works. So if you haven't seen these, they're just basically like little night lights where you put the little fragrance. I forgot what they're called. FYI, I love turquoise waters. It smells so good. They came out with a pineapple one. I think it's so cute. So this one is a nightlight. So I have this one in my bathroom. I know these end up like selling out and then they have like different ones. And then my other pineapple favorite is from a subscriber. She sent it to me for Christmas as a gift. And I just wanted to give another shout out. I already talked about all my Vlogmas, but I don't know. I just thought it was just so cute and I love it. And I was reading comments because people were like, where did you get that? So I have this on my backpack right now and I think it's so adorable. Oh yeah, I saw the comments. Sorry. I almost forgot and so she got it at Walmart so if you guys are interested she found this at Walmart I'm not sure like obviously I think she lives in a different state I believe what I saw on the card yeah she wasn't from California I would have remembered that but isn't this the most adorable like keychain ever and I just love like the whole crown top and oh, this is just so cute so thank you again it's like it's my favorite so now on to bum, 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 my two womps okay so now for my first womp was something I was testing out with a Maybelline dream cushion and they also launched these two well not these two but a couple different colors of concealer now this is the brightening creamy concealer and I was really excited because when they sent this out they put like this card and it says it's distinctly for underneath the eyes that it's going to be really nice and smooth, creamy, illuminating. It's going to mask your dark circle. So I was just like, yes, I'm a concealer junkie. This is awesome. And they were terrible. I mean, yeah, they're like nice and creamy. I'll kind of do like a swatch right here of that one. And then also this one. But they are, they're creamy, but I can only see myself using them to spot correct. I did not like these underneath the eyes. They're a little bit too thick and emollient, and I noticed that one, once I set my under eye, I did one and I set it right away just to see if it was something that's gonna crease really fast. Oh my gosh, even after setting it, it made like road maps underneath my eyes. I had no idea I was going on a road trip. W where was I going? So unfortunately, this just does not work out for me. I don't even know if people with dry skin would really like this product just because I find that it just sits not good underneath the eye. Like I said, spot correcting is okay. Um, like around the face, that's fine. But just for underneath the eyes, mm -mm. That one, no. If you want a concealer from Maybelline, Maybelline Better Skin and also Fit Me, which I put in my 2016 drugstore favorites, those two I really like. And now for another product that I noticed I've seen like a ton of people rave about and I don't really know what the hype is and it's the Milk Makeup Blurring Stick. Let's talk about the pros of this. Okay, so we can start up in a positive way. I love the packaging, I love the name. I like how it's a twist off and it's very fast and convenient. What I don't like is when I first put it, not even when I first, when I continuously put it on my face, I find like it's just dragging my skin too much. I'm not trying to have a tug of war with my skin. I didn't find like it really got into my pores. Like this area is where I have the largest pores at and nowhere really else. And even constantly after rubbing this over and over, I was trying to push the product in. Even after I put on my foundation and all that, I still saw them peeking through. So, I mean, it looks fine around the rest of the face, but nothing like amazing. And another thing is, <sighs> this thing smells like chemicals and melted plastic. So I don't even know why anybody would even care for this product. Just with the smell alone, it smells really nasty. If you are curious, go check it out and go smell this. I already know what your decision will be. Fortunately, this was a want for me. I do like other milk products, but for this one, I was just not having it. All right, guys. Well, that is it for my January whoops and wants. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know about my background and if you guys enjoyed it as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night. Also, my giveaway has recently ended. If you did not know, I did a huge giveaway on the entire content creator goodie bag from Generation Beauty. Now, if you comment to me or message me, DM, please do not. I always take a ton of time to try to figure out who's maybe commented twice and I found it. It's like crazy. Or people who don't follow all the rules and all of that. I don't know. Or 
just kind of try to shortcut the comment and see like you could just tell that they just were there for the giveaway and didn't really bother to read what they're supposed to put. I'm really big on not cheaters winning or people who are just giveaway junkies. I want someone who truly deserves it and I'm sure you guys really want that as well. And the ones who are really here and supportive want to have a true chance at winning. Now I did just have two recent giveaway winners and they were awesome. We DM. They were the sweetest girls ever. And that's who I want to win. A sweet girl or guy okay all right so now that I got that out of the way I hope you guys had a, a wonderful day or night don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you want me to continue my monthly favorites so I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one Woo!